Hello Internet, hello and welcome to this video. A week ago we made creation go up against creators, had gods challenge the laws of physics. But in the end we didn't manage to find an answer to the question, who is the strongest Dota hero? Law wise. The problem with raising that question is that this game is just filled with beings of completely unreasonable magnitude. As long as you're mortal, you don't stand a chance. But even asking the question, who is the strongest mortal, doesn't necessarily work either. Because we've got people like Aix, Warrunner, Beastmaster, all of which are the strongest warrior in their respective region and searching for a worthy opponent. So let's just go into the opposite direction. Who is the weakest Dota hero lore-wise? Far to the south of Quoich, in the fields of endless carnage, one can sometimes spot a demon-like creature chopping up the corpses so he can feed the pieces to the birds, and sometimes even have a bite himself. Despite his terrifying appearance, Pudge is nothing more than a glorified bird food dispenser, only redeeming factor about him being his blades which just keep on getting sharper and sharper as time progresses. But should equipment even be considered? Sniper, Tinker and Clockwork all belong to the same people. Not exactly known for their physical prowess, they still got the brains to make themselves useful on the battlefield. But even if every single shot is perfectly on target, eventually Sniper will run out of ammunition. Same goes for Tinker and Clockwork. Eventually they will run out of energy or fuel or whatever the hell they use. In a long outrun battle, they will always lose. And let's be honest, even though it's kind of cute that Timbersaw is essentially Batman, take away his suit and he's not even a billionaire playboy genius philanthropist. One slap and it's over for him. Our heroes had already reached the end of the story. Luna, after losing her entire army, saw a beast glaring at her from the woods. And in a stroke of genius, she decided to chase after that beast, only to get utterly dominated in combat and almost die. But lucky enough, some priests saved her life. But she wasn't the only one that couldn't even handle a non-combatant. Pukna summoned a never drake and tried to keep him as a pet. Turns out that he didn't exactly control Viper and as soon as Viper grew tired of Pugna's attempts at sorcery. He just kind of escaped his prison. Okay, I think we all agree that none of these heroes would even be able to lay a scratch on the more powerful creatures in this world, but that alone ain't enough to justify calling them the weakest. We need to go deeper. Shadow Shaman used to be the assistant of a conman until one day said conman realized that he could use Rasta as an attraction. So yeah. Queen of Pain got summoned from hell to become a dominatrix for a king. Only after the king died did she manage to escape, but I can't be the only one that thinks that a dominatrix doesn't seem like she would make for the strongest of warrior. But she wasn't the only one that got lucky. Ogre Magi is, well, an ogre. <laughs> I'm not saying that ogres are as dumb as a bag of rock hammers, but... <sighs> ogres are supremely incapable of doing or deciding anything on their own. And the only reason why anybody could ever consider Ogre Magi a threat is because he's got twice the brains and all the luck fortune could possibly give him. But others are not only not lucky, but also highly incompetent. Alchemist promised his people that he would manage to transform a whole regular mountain into a mountain of gold. He failed magnificently. Bristle used to be an enforcer until one day Tusk beat him in a bar fight. He is now seeking vengeance and searching for Tusk to challenge him to another brawl. So yeah, <laughs> all of this is pretty laughable, but who is the weakest? Since we know that Tiny is far far bigger than portrayed in the game, I think we can safely assume that the same thing applies to all heroes. 
Their sizes are evened out for the sake of gameplay. And, well, there's this one guy that is just kind of an insect. Nyx Assassin. Maybe blessed by the Green Goddess. But he's still just an insect. The largest insect in our world doesn't grow larger than 12 centimeters and doesn't weigh more than 120 grams. And I have to assume that the same thing applies to their world. Well, at least a similar thing. So, even I could take Nyx Assassin and just snap him in half. So yeah, the next time you get annoyed by a Nyx Assassin, just keep in mind that in fact, you probably are stronger than he is. He's not particularly powerful. In fact, I would dare to say, he is the weakest hero in Dota. Lormans. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am really, really, truly sorry about the crickets in the background, but I honestly just wouldn't get another opportunity to record anytime soon. So I'm really incredibly sorry about that. Incredibly sorry about that. If you enjoyed the video anyways, I would appreciate it if you could leave a rating on the video. That would be amazing, would really help out a lot. And I would also appreciate it if you could just check out my channel. I upload daily Dota 2 content. I don't think it's bad content. I actually upload two videos a day and hey, it doesn't hurt to just take a look, does it? So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you tomorrow. Bye.